Alright. Now right here is a static generator. Hold on, let me tighten this camera up a little bit. Now, as you can see, it's just static electricity. I can just put my hand right on here. You see what I mean? And now, with the uh, symbol, the shape of it, being suspended in the static field and having the, uh, hold on a second, because I want to show you. It's so simple. I want everybody to know about this. This right here, see how there's nothing, there's nothing right here touching the, uh, I want y'all to see it. This base right here, there's nothing touching it. I'll move that out of the way. It's just like a, what I'm, that's part of the next experiment. There's nothing touching it. So now I'm going to just sit this, see how that's got an insulator there? The little drum, this little felt thing is actually the insulator. So I set the symbol back on there. Then we have our electrostatic uh, generator, a negative ion generator. So all I'm going to do, see there's still, that's the shadow of it. There's nothing touching down there. And I'm now going to move the uh, static generator over there. You can hear the click start. Okay, now. As you can see, I'm put, I put my hand right on there. Okay, now here's the uh, spark gap. Now I can adjust, pull it closer, just a little bit, and get a higher frequency. See what I mean? Now we try to get one around 60 hertz because these trans, you know, normal transformer, they're designed to operate at 60 hertz. So I think the tone, maybe this tone is a little, should be a little higher, like that. Okay, now you see this hole right here in the symbol, this little gouge, since that's got more, it's got two more sharper edges. Like I told you, shapes are very important. I don't know if you can hear that buzz, but that's like high frequency, very high. So we're going to step this down in just a second and uh, we're going to make it run a diode and that's how you know that if you put this same symbol up in the air on a tower or something that you'll get free electricity